Hello everybody, Teacher Sam here, and as promised, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful, warm, and welcoming and animated background for your students. Uh, and so here we go. Now to do this, you do need to be using a green screen and there are some links that will not work. So just play around. Now this is great for all holidays, for seasons and weather, um, just to add a really nice element. Keep in mind, anything too busy may become distracting for your students. So use good judgment when choosing. So what I'm going to do is go in here and open up a feed. I'm going to click on plus and I will eventually select YouTube URL. But what I've done first is I've gone on to YouTube and I found a background video that I really like. I just looked for a fireplace scene. Now some of these do have music playing and that's okay because we are going to turn off the sound. So Sometimes searching for music with um, a theme or music with video, continuous video is a good way to go because we're just going to mute anyway. I'm going to right click on the video that I have found that I like and I'm going to select to loop. And I want to loop because I want to make sure that this will continuously go throughout my classes. I'm then going to select and copy the web address in the URL bar. I'm not going to click on share. That is a shortened web address and it won't work for this particular process. So once I've copied it, I'm just going uh, highlighted it. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to open up a new feed here and I'm going to select YouTube URL and I'm going to paste. Now, sometimes ah, you will see that it is a failure to load and I don't know why, it literally just worked a moment ago. Uh, what I'm going to do actually is just go into a new feed. Um, it, it shouldn't give you a failure to load. I think it just honestly did that because I used it too many times. <laughs> I, I'm just going to go into a new feed. There we go. Uh, and it'll open up just fine. Look, if you get, I, I love that I get errors because you can see how to troubleshoot along with me. The problem with that is I did it too many times in one feed and I just kind of confused my mini cam. But if I shut mini cam down and restarted, it would have been the same. Anyway, so I went into a feed and I select YouTube URL and then I'm just going to click on OK. It shows me that this is going to work. So I'm going to click OK and now watch what happens in just a moment. This is why I don't edit things down because I want you to be able to see it in real time and I honestly think editing down doesn't help. All right, uh, let me transition to over to this one. You hear that beautiful crackling sound? I'm going to turn the sound off but you can see you're able to actually hear the sound. And you can hear it right now because that's my screen recording software. Now, if I did change my audio in ManyCam to be the system sound, and then I chose the ManyCam microphone in my classroom, I could still get the audio to play in my classroom, but it's distracting, so I highly uh, advise against it. So now I have this as my background. I'm just going to zoom a little bit so it fills my screen, and I'm going to move it to where I'd like it to be. I really want the students to see the snow coming down the window. So now there's an important element that is missing from it, and it's me. I need to be in my own classroom. So I simply am going to right click and I'm going to add a new layer. And this new layer is going to be yours truly. And I'm going to make sure I do turn on my chroma key for this. Uh, I might want to go, I have this light going here, which is actually making my things a little funky and part in my winter coat at the moment. And it's just simply because uh, I'm having a heating issue in my house. Let me just shut this light off that we um, don't need. Okay. <laughs> and there we go. So now I need to go ahead and stretch myself up a little bit here uh, by grabbing and making myself bigger. And now look, I have this beautiful background to enjoy. I could show my students that it is snowing outside. I could turn around and warm my hands on the fire. We can look at the beautiful tree. Uh, there are many other options. Let's go ahead and do another one. I'll start from scratch. I'm going to say um, holiday background. Um, well, let's do fireplace. Um, and I like to call it, what is it called? A virtual fireplace. I do with Christmas music just because I think I get more choices. A virtual fireplace. So here's another one. What I'm going to do is copy from the URL. I'm going to open up a new feed. I'm going to select YouTube URL and I'm going to paste. This one doesn't load. Let's try it in another feed. I should have stopped while I was ahead. 
Some of them won't load and it is do. Oh, see this loads. So just play around with your feed. Honestly, do you see how it failed? Keep playing with your feeds. Don't spend all this time wondering why. Why does it work? Why does it not work? Just just move on. Life's too short. Just move on. All right. I'm going to go to that particular feed. Beautiful crackling. I really wish it was radiating the heat here. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to add my video. Here I am. And I'm going to turn on my chroma key. And now I will set myself up. Oh, I actually want to zoom in. Don't forget to zoom in on that background to fill it up. So then it just looks like a full green screen. And there we go. Now I'm in my coat, as I told you, because it's a little cold where I am, but I'm just going to warm up by the fire. Um, you can have so much fun with this. Now, the more you do, the more it will take on your mini camps. So please make sure that your system is capable. Do not use this if you do have enough, if you do not have enough RAM or your processor is a little low. But other than that, enjoy. I hope you have a lot of fun with this, this holiday season and onwards. Please be sure to comment down below if you found this video helpful to you. And I hope to see you back here on my channel again soon. Goodbye.